Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at a problem that involves comparing the accumulated value of compound interest and simple interest for a $2,500 obligation with a nominal interest rate of 11.5%. I've already created the format for the table, so it's just a matter of formatting it and getting all the values. We're also going to be graphing it to show the difference of the growth rate over time. We'll be doing this for 20 years. Here is the demonstration of the of the final result. So we're gonna be looking at how we can obtain this graph. We're gonna follow a similar process process as the previous video. So let's let's get started. First we're gonna enter the principal which is 2500. Uh, we're gonna format it to currency. Uh, we're going to enter the nominal interest rate of 11.5%, so that's 0 0.115. Let's change that to a percentage, like this in here. Notice that it gives us 12%, so we increase the decimals by hitting this button here, uh, which increases the number of decimal places. We're going to come back to the difference shortly. Let's enter the years from 1 to 20. Notice that since it's an incremental uh, value, what we're going to do is uh, ho hover over the um, lower right corner until we get a cross here and then we can uh, hold control and drag down notice how it increases up until we reach 20 that will auto fill the series with a format and center now we have the number of years we will, we will now enter the formula remember that the formula for the accumulated value for compound interest is given by P, open parenthesis, 1 plus I raised to the N. But of course, you cannot enter that here. So we're going to substitute the values. We're going to select the cell entry B1 for the principal. Notice that this is absolute. So I'm going to make this absolute by entering a dollar sign in front of the B and a dollar sign in front of the 1, meaning that this value will never change. Let's put the asterisk to represent the times, open parenthesis. Then we're going to enter 1 plus um, B2. This interest rate will not change, so we're going to make it absolute as well. Divided by 1, because it's a nominal interest rate, compounded yearly. Raised to open parenthesis. We can now enter the years. Uh, we don't have to enter times 1 since times 1 will not have an effect, but let's put it for consistency. This cell entry will change since we're going to be analyzing how the accumulated value changes over time. So we get 2,787.50. Similar to other graph. Notice that the simple interest will yield the same result, but the formula is different. So let's enter it. Equals, and write up the formula for the community value of simple interest is given by P times 1 plus RT. So we're going to enter that right now. Let's select the principal. Um, this value does not change, so we're going to make it absolute. Times, open parenthesis, 1 plus the rate times the time. Close parenthesis. Notice that the rate will not change as well, so we're going to make this absolute. And as predicted, we get the same value. Like I said, this is because the first uh, period for compounding for one year is equivalent to the simple interest rate. And prove this using the formula. Now, let us select both cells with the formulas and let's drag down. That will give us the desired results. Notice that the numbers are too big, so we're going to expand it accordingly. Now that we have this, we can see the growth rate and we can calculate the difference. So, what is the difference? The difference will be given by the maximum value or the accumulated value at the end of 20 years for both compound interest and simple interest. So to get that down, what we're going to do here is enter that difference. Let's say equals, select the entry, minus, 
So like the other entry, and we have more difference. Now if we get the graph, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be selecting the two columns and going to insert line graph and we select our graph. Notice that the graph does it's not too appealing, so let's edit it. Similar to our previous video, and add the chart elements, access title, and we're going to edit it. So in our case, we wrote here accumulated value. Easy. And this is in years. Let's change the series names. Series one is um, compound interest. We're gonna edit that by selecting compound. Then series two is simple interest. We're gonna select simple. Since we know what is the title, uh, we named the graph simple and compound interest for uh, principal of uh, 11, it's a principal of 2,500 at 11.5%. So we're gonna just copy and paste that here. It's just a title. Uh, let's make the graph a little bit bigger, and let's adjust the um, the graph with chart design, grid lines. Looks a bit much better. Let's adjust the um, the intervals of. Two thousand dollars. So now we can see the changes are a bit appreciated, changes are a bit much better. This concludes the uh, video. So notice that. As time progresses, the overall interest earned by compounding for 20 years is much bigger than what you would earn by using simple interest. In fact, the difference is of 13,801.6 cents. Therefore, most businesses will, would prefer compound interest over simple interest, simply because it gives us a better yield at the end of the cycle or the period that we are compounding. I say that thanks you for thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you learn how to compare simple interest and compound interest in Excel.